Bishop Aylforth was no man of God. Hush, someone is hanging me for better thoughts. Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfoth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. of justice who dares execute the king's noose it is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work you are the order's executioner <laughs> you peer through the veil but you do not see clearly Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream he offers shit soaked beggars a seat at his table where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the ancient ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch and a fast dying tree. <laughs> Good one. See what he is 
found on the quill. Good shot, brother. Magister Batter not to teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion. But English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Ava? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred, and he is calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done, and try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing.
I see you, child. Come. The bad reef. Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. I found no charm, lucky or otherwise. A bit of silver then? For my troubles. It would not have the same value, would it? You ugly Dane! May God curse you with boils on your face! Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? and give back that apple. Apple? He's going to fall! <laughs> Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I do not. But maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Whitbert. They see everything. Stop it, you prumpkin! If he falls, God will punish you! God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again! Shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. A hog in a dress, maybe? seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill, so I'm asking you, this little worker bees. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill's thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. 
this one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you are not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Stretch your wings, Sudan. I should watch out for a mousetrap. the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress!
come, child. Whisper what you've learned. And Mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. Use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit. Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. <laughs> I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worth. She will find enlightenment in the order, just as I did. If I could save them all. I won't. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. Ah! My order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Sent to meet him at an alehouse nearby.
feeling a bit dry over here. where justice hides when she's tired. Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinspain, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. <laughs> I could use someone like you in my settlement. With ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death our battles will rage on. It is the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Abel. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your Looking report. for a worthy challenger. <laughs> Worm meal, then here should be the proof. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Did you know Bishop Alford? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Aylford, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are, uh, sleeping. Oh, perfect, yes. Lord Grant, my brother Aylford. Are you the bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me.
We both know your brother's faith was a cloak of lies. He used your guard's words for his own ends. Who are you to judge a man of faith? You, a Dane who believes in giants and wolves that eat the sun? Be gone. Get away from me, demon! Guards, protect me! Only his face was burned. Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelforth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. God save us! Why do you defend me, Enough, you scheming cur! Greater men than you have died on my sword. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came, and God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all, and I hated him. It may be, Alfred. 
Guard was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wolf. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy man to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. served God. He wrapped himself in a death cloak to murder your king. Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a devil. We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. If Aelfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins.
be it. The door to Aelfur's secrets. I will send this to Hythem. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Alpha. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward.
Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin. Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither, he offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. Damn you! I did not want it.
Oh, Ava. Yes. Good day. Such good days. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago. What tea done the Eivor? The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. begins a long time ago at a desert oasis, far away, a place of mystery. I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. I cleared Winchester of the Order, yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. I have to go. Then go in peace. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mystery. 